Well, John, uh, a bit of an entertaining game by, in, at the end of the day. Um, I must say, the first half, I thought Clyde were all over us. <laughs> and to go in at half time with a tremendous goal by Thompson, by yeah, the way, yeah. uh, was a bit of a bonus and right on half time. Yeah, I think it summed it up perfectly. We uh, we never started today, you know. They, they have some very good technical players, boys that have played at a high level. And, and we were found wanting in the first half. Um, our competitive edge wasn't there today until we, we had the battle on the half time. One or two of the players came in and actually said a few words for the first time this season, which was interesting. You know, it doesn't matter what they say, but it just showed a bit of courage in there to get in the dressing room and mix it up. And, which is good. Uh, uh, it's good. Uh, I was quite happy. I um, actually he came back in with me kissing my head just because I heard them having a little shouting ball from the office and then of it. And then obviously. That was a tone set for a, a bit of a, a, a rant and a rave at half time about a performance or a lack of conviction, you know. So we looked very passive today, you know. We were playing with three in the middle of the pitch, they were playing with two, you wouldn't know it. Mm. Um, we changed the half time with two banks of four and tried to get another striker further forward. And we started winning some first balls, our centre half started winning headers. Uh, and the game, right from the stroke of half time, the second half, started to move the other direction. We got ourselves a foothold in the match, you know. So um, one or two chances to win the game. Not as many as they had, so they had a lot of pressure. Uh, Sean Brown has come on after the injury to Kevin and did really well for us. Delighted with that. Uh, and did, showed a real resilience today. It was a disappointing goal, I thought, to lose. Ah, it's a terrible goal to lose. You know, a number of crosses went into the box too easily. Uh, on a post, you know, Higgins gets a touch on the ball and it's far too easy. And we were soft, you know, we looked a soft football team full of soft football players. And I had to have a go at them uh, regarding that situation, a lack of aggression in trying to win the game, you know, not for themselves, but for the people who pay to come and see them every week, hail, rain or snow. So it had to be a, a situation where we had to give ourselves a shake up, and that's my job to do that, to try and uh, re energise or re motivate, shall we say. I mean, we've, the last three home games have only taken a point out, yeah. of the, you know, and that's yeah. it. It's a bit disappointing because had we won one of those games, it certainly puts us up the league yeah. a bit more. Yeah. So you're really disappointed with that. It's, it's no, yeah, absolutely. You know, there was a lot of things we had to play for today. You know, I was delighted that we, we managed to get something out of the game given. We have a massive injury crisis, yeah, yeah. you know. It's probably one you can mention after the game in hindsight when you haven't been beaten. If you've been beaten, it looks like sour grapes, but the way we're going at the minute, it's just it's incredible. We've got five boys who would normally start on the team not available to me, you know, even though some of them are named on the bench, they're not able to play. And John, what about McKenna? Uh, uh, well, I mean, what's the guy doing? Two yellow uh, cards, I don't know the situation. Your name is no better than me. I, I said in the dressing room, we speak to him privately about that. It's not something that, that I'm going to hear, you know. Uh, Mike and I have a chat about that. You know, what we do about it is another situation. I think it'll be taken out of our hands. Um, you know, the SFA will step in, you know, there's yeah. no doubt about that. Depending on what he says, I haven't. I spoke to the referee very briefly, came in up, come, coming off the park. He told me what Michael said wasn't acceptable. Michael says something different. So, but when you've already been booked, John, yeah, I appreciate that. you've already been booked, yeah. you don't go back again because you know the circumstances. Yeah. And then it's the last 88th minute when he's been yeah. booked. It yeah. puts us under the cosh, you know, and they have yeah. pile on five and six poured in the box. Yeah. And like you're saying, so many balls get yeah. delivered in there, and you do think mm. they're going to nick it here, yeah. don't you? All, all I'm going to say to you, because I'm not going to be judgmental on it as it stands at the minute on camera directly mm. after the game. That's fair know, enough, so that's fair enough. I'll have a conversation with Michael when, they, when they heat out the heats out of the situation. You know, I've had a number of conversations with them, we'll all try to work with them, you know, and, and work for his betterment to make sure these situations don't arise. Yeah. We'll leave that in your job. Go yeah. back to the game. Yeah. Lavi could have won it for us in the end with his left foot. Yeah, yeah, I think I it, uh, it would have been hard on Clyde. I keep, I keep oh, saying well. that about the opposition. I'm not bothered about the opposition. That's right, that, that, that's right. We'll take it any way you can. We had the opportunity to win it, we didn't yeah. take it, you know. It was quite um, open, though. The last, uh, you know, before yeah, McKenna got sent off, the game was going to go either way. One goal was going to win it, you know. Yeah. It was quite entertaining to watch, yeah. although you've got to be biased for ourselves. Aye, we, we, you know, we're playing a lot of football on the counter attack in the minute because we don't have control of the football match, you know, and that's something that obviously we're working towards. Mm. Uh, my big concern is trying to get players into the football club because we're, we're, we're so short of bodies, and now obviously Mikey's situation means it will be one more down. Uh, this two week break can't come quick enough for me to try and tidy up some of the injuries. I'm hoping to have the Hibs guys back in contention. Right, I was ask you about that. Uh, Lee Halton, there's, there's a number of Brian Martin back, you know. Um, there's a number of players who you would regularly see playing in the first team who are out and not available to us. But I still think that numbers wise we're, we're down, you know. Yeah, and, and certainly, fed better, to be honest, John. Yeah, fed and, I know all that's but the quality of the team has to improve as well. You know, yeah. that's another aspect of it. I'm not hiding for that situation, yeah. you know. We have what we have to spend, but we've got to try and maximise that the best we can. So that's that's my job. We've been working really hard behind the scenes, but unfortunately we've not been able to do anything. So uh, we we'll continue with that. players have got to be better than we've got, obviously. You know, oh, there's absolutely. no point going in the market yeah. and getting yeah. somebody just for an extra body. Yeah. It's yeah. got to be a bit of quality that we need yeah. in a certain position. Even the development thing, you know, we've looked at that long and hard and I've spoke to other managers in the league and a lot of the kids come in from development football and, and it's a soft brand of football, uh, I would say. 
and they come into this level and it's very competitive and aggressive mm -hmm. and the players don't handle it well. Mm -hmm. uh, we were we were blessed last season, Callum Crane and, and McGregor were excellent for us, you know, and brought a physicality as well as a real great attitude to play and I'm not seeing that around a lot of the clubs with the development loans that they're taking just now, so you know something's got to change. Yeah. Uh, but it's an avenue that, that a lot of clubs explore and I will in the in the future, you know, but I just have to make sure that I'm doing and making the right moves for the club that we bring the right players in. Uh, it's not about bringing numbers in, it's about trying to get yeah, better quality in the place, you know, and that's something that we need badly. Yeah, that's great, John. Thanks okay. very much. And thanks, thanks very much. And I think a good point in here. We'll take it. Thanks very much. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks, thanks very much.